Good day everyone. My name is Chris Foggin and I'm the wildlife veterinarian to the Victoria Falls Wildlife Trust situated in the Victoria Falls National Park which is in the centre of the Kavango Zambezi Transfrontier Conservation Area which contains around about half the remaining savanna elephants in Africa. So it's a very important region for the conservation of elephant. The populations of elephant are being severely impacted and malicious poisoning of elephant is one of these major impacts on our population. It's a highly important uh, topic at the moment. Uh, Zimbabwe and other countries within the Kavango Zambezi conservation area uh, have had many cases of malicious poisoning. The International Elephant Foundation have very kindly provided funds uh, for this project to reduce the, uh, the poisoning of African elephant in this region. It's important to realise what the greater implications of poisoning of elephant uh, is in this region. Not only can it have a major impact on the elephant population, uh, but it can also have a major impact on other wildlife populations. And that is particularly the case of vultures, which uh, often feed on these poisoned carcasses and can be poisoned by the hundreds. And it's very important that uh, we try uh, and stop the spread of the use of chemicals in poaching, or indeed any poaching, uh, before it becomes very widespread. One of the two major goals of this IEF funded project uh, is the development of toxicological testing capacity within the Victoria Falls Wildlife Trust Laboratory. The second goal of our project is conservation education for children in the Victoria Falls region. Educating these children about the effects of poaching through poisoning is essential for these kids because they are the ones that are mostly exposed to these elephants, especially in the rural areas around the Victoria Falls region. Every year we have 1,000, about 1,000 kids coming through our doors uh, to learn about elephant poisoning and poaching and each kid takes home a comic book that they get to read with their families. Uh, certainly in the last few weeks we've had cases of cyanide poisoning an elephant and been able to uh, test the uh, suspect chemical for the presence of cyanide. So that has been one uh, uh, successful outcome of the project to date. And we greatly appreciate the funding from the International Elephant Foundation. And we acknowledge with very grateful thanks uh, the contribution to this uh, noble goal.